Arsenal Fan TV, Mo, disappointing mate today. Very, very disappointing. But not unexpected. And, and that's the most disappointing thing about it. You know, I'd rather have come here fully in my heart of hearts expecting a win and be really stunned that we were, you know, conceding four goals at home. But that's I didn't expect to, you know, I thought we'd be in trouble with the defence. I said that right from before the game, but I didn't expect we'd get, like, annihilated like that. You know, Robbie, four goals past us. You're, you're naive then, man. How can you not expect it? Four goals. Robbie, listen. I'm sorry, I'm not expecting Arsenal... Arsenal Football Club should not be conceding four goals at home. Did it happen last year? Or not at home, mm. but did it happen last year that we conceded four yeah, goals? It's not, it's, it's not good enough, is it? But all I'm saying, you should have been expecting it. We all should have been expecting it because today we got what we deserved. You're prepared to, you fail to prepare, prepare to fail. Simple. You, you teach kids that little quote. We didn't prepare. We are not prepared for the start of the season. We weren't last year. We weren't the year before that. Outrage two years ago. Outrage one year ago. I can't be bothered to be outraged anymore, especially because of the fact that we actually had a chance as Arsenal fans to unite and express our outrage in quite a, you know, in quite a sensible way, you know, with the time for change protest. And we didn't take that. So that's it. It is what it is. We aren't a club that runs properly or we aren't optimized for absolute success. And the fans are willing to accept that because when we had our chance to really be vocal about it, we didn't take it. That made the difference, you think? Who knows? Just like, just like would a defender today, if, would Mustafi today, if we had Mustafi and Lacazette, would that have made a difference? Who knows? But at least, let's at least try. The fans as a unit are guilty, just as the club are, in that we don't actually pull our finger out and do something to really force it home. There's one stakeholder of this club that should be absolutely rioting right now. And that, that's us as fans. We should be going crazy right now that we are not getting what we want. I think fans have been very vocal. I mean, on, on, Robbie, where? over the past... Robbie, where? On over, Twitter, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Over the past season, last year, past couple of seasons, fans have been very vocal. I think everybody knows that Arsenal fans are unhappy. I think everybody up there knows that Arsenal fans are not happy with the state of play, even if they did sing Arsene Wenger's name after that protest. They know the fans are not unhappy. They know that they need to deliver, um, they need to deliver, you know, a trophy for these fans. Is the manager that's there, is he up for it? Is he good enough to do that? Isn't it more worrying then if they know all of this? So if you're saying the fans have been effective in voicing their opinion. I and how feel they have. Feel. Okay, so they so, know all of this and yet they still don't cater to the fans' desires and to the club's needs. So then, do, do, you, so want, then, so so then, do you want the manager gone? Do you want Arsene Wenger to be removed and a new manager in? What would change if we get a new manager in? I'm not saying I want him in. No, no, well, I'm asking you a quick... You, 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 you're care. saying to me about the protest, Robbie, right? I've never cared. So in that but time, the protest wait, wasn't about One Wenger. second. In that protest, there was a lot of people who wanted Arsene Wenger out. It wasn't about Wenger. But there, there was a lot of people... They, when, when you say time for change, some people will like change the board, some people will like change tactics, some people like, a lot of people will like change the manager, yeah. right? Now, do you, is that what you, do you want him gone? I mean, it's very indecisive. Nobody seems to know what they want. No, I've always said very, very clearly, the way the club is currently run, Arsene Wenger is not the right man for the job because he doesn't challenge them and say, this is not going to deliver me so trophies. So should be gone then? If, in this current structure, yes. If we got someone like Simeone in, and they didn't support him. I, I'm, I'm just speculating here. I don't know if they do or not support him. But if, for example, the money wasn't, wasn't made available, a squad wasn't ready for your first game of the season, I don't think a Simeone would necessarily tolerate that. He would kick up a fuss and throw some teacups at the CEO. Awesome thing that case, says every time that no, they no, give him the listen, money. No, no, I do not care what the club say. Ars no, no, he says Arsene Wenger. He says I they have not stopped I don't care what Arsene Wenger says. Arsene Wenger also says... Who do we listen to then? He's the manager. And, and that is the thing. We are, we are fans that are treated with contempt. Arsene Wenger also said when we sold Van Persie, Podolski and Giroud are not his replacements. It was a lie. I understand that Arsene Wenger's job description that it contains telling lies to fans for the benefit of his negotiations and his management of the club. I get the yes to do that, but what I'm saying, you cannot trust the club. We are the most irrationally run club, specifically on transfers, you know, in transfer windows. Commercially and everything else, we're great, but transfers, we are completely irrational. You never know what the club is going to do. Fans are treated with absolute contempt because we don't get any, we, we just silence, that's all we get. Our, our uh, owner, doesn't ever say anything to the fans and you know we come to logical conclusions that 
the club don't have ambition. And I'm sorry, but that's the way it looks to me. We do this every single year. I'm tired. Uh, there's, no, there's no breath in my lungs anymore to be outraged because I expected it. I didn't expect it against Villa. I didn't expect it against West Ham. I now expect it. Let's all stop being naive. This is the club that we are. I, give a lot, I gave a lot of stick to United for being the next great club. But let me just clarify this. Yeah, they are an next great club, but Arsenal are as well. You know, don't get me wrong, when I say someone else is the next great club, I don't mean that I think Arsenal are a great club. Arsenal are absolutely not a great club. Great clubs win leagues, they win trophies regularly, they have a relationship with their fans that treats them well. English football clubs were communities when they were first founded. We have lost sight of that. Fans are treated with contempt. We are purely um, a something for, for them to extract value out of. That's all we are. We're very, very easily replaceable. And that is very, very sad to me. So listen, let's stop being naive. We had a chance to protest. We didn't take it. So now let's just take what we're given and it will be this absolute, uh, again, typical season. But look, one thing I do want to say, it's 14th of August and that means Pakistan Independence Day. The only thing keeping me sane today is that... Um, Hold the flag out the right way, man. Have some respect. <laughs> The only thing that's keeping me sane today is that we won the cricket today. Yeah. Drew the series with England. Yeah, to all the Pakistanis, all the Pakistani gunas, whoever you are, happy Pakistani Independence Day. It's the only reason why I'm not going to go and sulk and cry all evening. Yeah. A Walcott will play from the left wing today. He will detect that he wants to play as a striker tomorrow. Who does that? Mikel Obi was an attacking midfielder before Moreno threw him at the as a defensive midfielder. They need to tell Walcott it's high in fact, what God needs to leave us now. He should turn down resignation. No, you've been a bit harsh. I thought he had a good game today, though. No. You, yeah. you're, you're a player. That is what you're paid for. You don't fall when the ball is coming. You need to be able to stand your ground. As a player, that's what you're being paid for. 